What is up guys, from Celis Williams, aka the Swole Fest, here to get you on Help and Social Being here with the homie, once again, you already know, Hush Puppy Brown Mark, it's Saturday, so you know we're gonna come down, we're gonna get it in, but a little bit different today guys, so, as for those of you who don't know, my piloting programming is pretty much Mondays through Fridays, Saturdays is an optional rest day, and the Sunday's a for sure rest day, now, when I get like five, four weeks out, I make sure I take full advantage of all rest I can get to really just focus on preparation for my meet, but on days like today, right now, when I'm still further out Saturdays, I like to come in and still play with some type of work. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is uh, a way you can get a nice good workout, good pump, but if you're following a program similar to mine, something that's not gonna fatigue you so much to where you're feeling like really beat up on Mondays. Cause what we're gonna do is pretty much just like hammer strength machine only. That way we can still focus on strength and really focus on like still getting a nice, you know, like stupid pump, you know, it's like, like just bro stuff. But there's not a lot of like, you know, stability and balance and those extra things that can actually gradually add to your fatigue. So I'm just gonna show you guys this. You can try to work out if you like it. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just finished warming up. We warmed up with the plates and two plates. About to start our first working set, two plates and a quarter. Um, like I said, this is something we usually do. We're kind of like, in the sense of like, it's not planned on the program. So what we're gonna make sure that we're hitting good weight is that we're gonna try to make sure we can get like, you know, at least six to eight. If it's any less than that, then we'll increase the weight. If we get way more than that, like an easy 10 to 12, then we'll increase the weight a little bit more just so we can make sure we're keeping like that pace going. So just to be clear, we're doing three sets of each movement. Hopefully y'all can hear me. So the first move we just did was the hammer strength bench machine. Now mind you, there's different hammer strength bench machines. There's the wide, there's the decline, the incline. We just did the basic hammer strength bench machine. It's the closest one they have to like just a bench press. So next, we're gonna go to hammer strength row machine right here. We're gonna start a little one with two plates each side, three sets, and then we'll go to our working sets. All right, guys, so, like I said over there, we did, like, we were shooting for six to eight reps. The same thing with this, six to eight reps each side. So, we did a horizontal press movement, like I said, as close to the bench as you get. Horizontal row movement. Now we're gonna do a vertical press movement, or as close as we have to it. We don't have the hammer strength shoulder press machine here, so we're gonna do the hammer strength incline bench press machine. And then after that, we're gonna do the hammer strength lat pull down for a vertical pull. So that's another thing, guys, just keep in mind. Working in the same planes together is really useful just for overall, like, muscle growth, as I mentioned past videos before. That's where things like supersets can come in handy, but it's not so much the superset, so much it is you hit one muscle, then you hit the muscle antagonistic to it, and there's a symmetry with that that helps with your overall growth in protein synthesis, so that's what we're doing. Let's go. Maybe go up a little bit on that. Like I said, we're trying to get six to eight, but it'd be kind of a moderately tough six to eight, so I may go up. Guys, I'm about to uh, lift these weights. Let's go, more. Lift those weights, boy. Yeah. 
as you guys can see, just so you know, even on machines, you guys, yes, you still retract that scalpel. Retract that motherfucker. It's like, nah. <laughs> I didn't mean to step inside. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just uh, finished up pretty much the compound movements. Now we're just gonna finish off with a little bit of arm isolation work. So probably two tri movements, two bi movements, and then we may even do like one shoulder isolation movement. But we're starting with tricep overhead extension. Oh, that range. Eight to ten. Eight to ten for the win, coach. Eight to ten for the win. Description as always. <laughs> Working on your chest too. Are you doing arms? <laughs> I'm fooled by the training. My muscles don't know the difference. <laughs> Next movement we're gonna do, so we already did an overhead extension movement, we're gonna do a basic tricep press down, but I'm gonna show you a slightly different variation. So a lot of people have to understand, with working your muscles, you have to think about like what the muscle's supposed to do, where it inserts, something like that. Your tricep has insertions where your shoulders. So I'm gonna show you what happens when you add a little bit of extra range of motion, so. So with this, ordinarily, right, we're just pressing down. But instead, we're gonna press down, then back. You guys can see the little bit in my touch. They're getting close to touching. They're going down. Next movement, picture wonder why Mark and I just magically changed shirts. 
Just got some of the new samples. You guys let us know what you think. The size is a little off. Oh, it's a little, little long. But well, the material is crazy, material though. It's great. So y'all let us know what you think. We always appreciate the feedback. Y'all know I don't usually do this, but help us out. Really appreciate it. Next movie. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is pretty much going to be it for this workout. Keep in mind, like I said, this is something that we decided to do on Saturday, which is usually an optional rest day for both me and Mark, even though we're on different programs, we have kind of similar setup and format. And I want to show you guys this just for the fact that, one, it's just a good little upper body day that you guys can do for those of you who are on upper lower or some type of push pull routine, something like that. Because I understand that just because I train one way doesn't mean you all do. And so long as you train the way that you enjoy your applying those principles that matter, as I said, that's what counts. So I'll, I like showing you guys different things you can do for those of you who are training a little bit differently than me. And the second thing to understand, guys, and I will be doing a video over this, guys, overtraining is a real thing. You have to be very smart with your training, especially as you become more intermediate advanced as far as overall recovery, how much total workload you're doing. So that's that's why we set things up the way we did today, just to like still get a nice little workout in, but not overtax ourselves for this upcoming week. Anyway, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to get better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later.